What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG TCG video. Today guys, we are going to be discussing the new Evolve support that is set to release in Duelist Nexus. Very excited to be going over this new support with you guys, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as per usual with these card game videos, we go over the monsters first and the extract monsters and end off with the spells and traps, although for this video we won't have to worry about that because we only have three new cards, two effects, and one exceeds. And the first card we're going to be discussing is the new Evolve Light monster, which if you guys remember with Evolves, or if you're new to this archetype, the whole concept about them is that they have three versions of the Evolve monsters. They have the Evolve Light, the Evolve Soar, and then the Evolve Zol which basically is like the Evolve Reptile, Evolve Dinosaur, and an Evolve Dragon, kind of basically an evolutionary stage. And we're going to basically be following that in that specific order, starting off with our Evolve Light, which is Evolve Light Forasis, a level 2 Fire Reptile Effect Monster with 900 attack and 300 defense, and you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. And this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one Evo Light Monster from your hand or graveyard in face down defense position. Second effect during your main phase, you can set one Evo Force or Evo Instant directly from your deck. And its third effect, if a monster you control were to be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can tribute one Reptile or Dinosaur Monster instead so this card is all right i'm not gonna lie um its first effect i'm not really too impressed with you're basically able to special summon an evolve light monster from your hand or graveyard in face down defense position which i don't know i just think cards that are putting monsters in face down defense position is just not really that good in the context of modern Yu-Gi-Oh. i just do think it makes the cards not really that worth it, especially since it's not even a card that special summons an Evolite monster from the deck. I think, honestly, if you're going to put this aspect to the card where it puts it in face down defense position, you might as well allow it to be able to be special summoned from the deck, if I'm going to be completely honest. But unfortunately, that's not the case with this card, and its first effect is just alright. And then the second effect is pretty cool. You can either search for Evolite force or evolve instant which i'm not gonna lie if you're gonna search any of these cards you're gonna be searching evolve force because i'm not gonna lie evolve instant isn't really that good in the slightest though evolve force is a pretty solid card so i would probably say with its second effect most of the time and not all the time you're gonna be searching for your evolve force which is pretty nice and then the third effect it gives a little bit of protection to any one of your evolve light monsters that you want to protect or honestly any of your evolve monsters you know you can just basically tribute any reptile or dinosaur monster that you control instead to protect that monster which is pretty cool to kind of have some sort of protection so overall it's an all right card i'm not really too impressed with it but obviously we do have to see what the other cards have in store as well so let's now go into our evil sore monster and that monster is Evil Soar Ryos, a level 4 fire dinosaur effect monster with 1600 attack and 400 defense, and you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. And this card is normal or special summon, you can set one evolutionary bridge or evo singularity directly from your deck. And the second effect, if you control this card that was special summoned by a fire monster's effect or normal summon, you can send one fire reptile or dinosaur monster from your deck to the graveyard, then you can make the type and level up two face up monsters on the field become the sent monsters so this card is quite interesting the first effect it, you, where you're able to set a evolutionary bridge or evo singularity isn't really that crazy just for the sole reason that those two cards aren't really that impressive i'm not gonna lie i think they're just all right cards for the archetype if i had to pick which one i would prioritize in searching it probably would be evil singularity although i do not think that evolutionary bridge is really a bad target either i just think both of these cards are all right but if i had to choose one i would probably say go for evo singularity in my personal opinion and then the second effect i really do think is where this card for the most part shines you're able to send any fire reptile or dinosaur monster to the graveyard and you're able to change the levels of two face-up monsters you control to that respective type and level which is really nice to either go into your rank four evolzar monsters so either dolga or logia which is probably the best options that you can go into or if you want to go into the rank six as well you can do that so you can either you know send a level six 
monster to the graveyard and now you're able to make a rank 6 in Zolda or the new monster that we'll be discussing a little bit later so that's pretty nice that you can also do that as well so overall I do think this card is better than the previous card that we discussed it does really cool in changing the levels to fit which one of the evolves or monsters that you want to go into and then you can either sell evil singularity or ev evolutionary bridge which i again i don't think they're really that great but i don't think they're bad cards to set to your field so overall i do think this card for the archetype itself i do think it is a pretty solid card so with that being said, that's going to be it for our main deck monster. So let's go into our final card of this video, which is the only new extra deck and our new Evil Czar monster, which is Evil Czar Raz, a rank 6 fire dragon exceeds effect monster with 2500 attack and 1500 defense, and its materials are two level 6 monsters. And has two effects, the first one being your opponent cannot target this card with materials with the monster effects. Its second effect is when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can detach two materials from this card and target one face up card your opponent controls negate its effects until the end of this turn if all materials attached to this card are reptile and or dinosaur monsters you can activate this effect by detaching one material instead of two so this card's pretty all right it's first effect to where it's able to be protected from monster effects or targeted monster effects to be more specific as long as this card has materials is Alright, I don't, I don't know why it's so restrictive in giving it some sort of protection. Not only do you need to have the materials in order for it to have the protection, but the protection is only from targeted monster effects. So, not really the biggest fan of that, but the second effect I do think is pretty cool. You detach a material from this card when your opponent activates a card or effect, and you're basically able to target either that same card or a different card your opponent controls and negate that effect, which is pretty nice. And then if you have reptile and or dinosaur monsters as your exceeds materials, you only detach one instead of two. So basically it's encouraging you to not only play it in the Evo deck, but you can also play it in any reptile and or dinosaur builds, which funny enough, we've been seeing a lot of dinosaur support recently with the Rex Raptor support, which I just recently covered, and the Transcend Drake archetype. And funny enough, too, both of those new supports have level 6 monsters, so you kind of see in a pattern that's going on with this new support. Like, I, I just find it hilarious that not only does this card work well with those new dinosaur supports, but also because of the fact that you know both of them just have the capability to do this like th this was purposely planned and i i believe that fully like there is no way you're gonna tell me that this is just a coincidence that all three of this new support just is frankly just able to work by pure coincidence you, you, there's no way you can convince me on that but you're getting that out of the way um overall i think it's an all right card it has some pretty cool stuff with the second effect and it has pretty weak protection i'm not gonna lie but you know what protection is protection so i i, I guess it's fine so overall do they I think that this new Evolve Zol card is an alright card. Definitely better than Zolda, in my opinion, if I'm going to be completely honest. But it's nothing too much to brag about. And with that being said, that's going to be it for the Evolve support. And that is going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this new Evolve support. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think overall the support was just... Fine. It wasn't anything too crazy, especially since this deck needed to really have some crazy stuff to this. This deck is just not really that good. And although I do think there is some pretty cool uses with these cards, I do think these are cards that I can be see being played in an evil deck. But I'm not going to lie, this is not the support that is really going to help the deck. I just think that this deck needs a lot more of a bigger push to really make it into a good deck i think it's still an all right deck but i don't know this deck still needs a lot of work but it's still cool that they actually got support so you know at least that's a benefit that they actually did get some sort of support but that's my thoughts on it again let me know your guys' thoughts on this new support down below but with that being said that's going to be it thank you guys so much for watching and until next time guys take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day